Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising this, the Dominator GT. So this vehicle was added in the new Chop Shop DLC in GT Online, obviously based on a convertible Mustang. Um, it looks quite nice to be honest, it's a nice example of the Mustang in GT Online, obviously it's not supposed to be exactly the same as a real Mustang, but it looks very very similar. Um, let's have a quick look at this thing on the website, it is on Southern San Andreas Autos. Uh, you can find it down here for 2.1 million pounds or dollars, sorry, uh, which is very, very expensive in my opinion uh, for something that should have been in the game for a long time now. Uh, but there we go, that's Rockstar for you. Uh, it does have some good customization though, so let's take it up to the custom shop and have a little look. Okay, here we are in the custom shop. It actually sounds quite nice, this thing. Obviously, it is a muscle car, so it's going to sound pretty good. Um, but let's have a little look at the customization. We'll fully upgrade this thing, uh, just so we can see what kind of performance it has later. Um, front bumper options. To start with, we have the stock front bumper. Ooh, okay. We can go for a secondary front bumper, which is literally like the whole front bumper in secondary. Okay. We can go for primary twin wedges down there at the bottom. Uh, we've got a secondary version of that. No then we've got the bolt-on sort of splitter. Um, we've got a secondary bolt-on splitter. We've got the bolt-on sports bumper. And we've got that in secondary as well. we got the uh, bolt-on GT bumper. And we've got a secondary version of that. I quite like the twin wedges. That looks quite good. So I think Don't we'll go with that. Uh, rear bumper options. Uh, we got the stock rear bumper. We can go for a secondary stock, which is like the front. It is literally like the whole bumper, a different colour. Uh, we've got the primary sport, which looks pretty cool. It adds this like proper little diffuser in the middle. We got a secondary sport. We got the GT which makes an How even bigger diffuser and it has those little secondary vents on each side we've got a secondary version of that which flips the vents into the primary color and uh, then we've got the GT trimmed and we've got a secondary GT trimmed um, I quite like the primary sport one was it the primary sport? yeah so we'll go with Your that, that pretty cool point. We'll upgrade the engine there. Uh, exhaust options come standard with things like dual tip in titanium. So we can go for stock chrome ones. So it's just the same but in chrome. We got round exhaust, titanium tip. We got chrome round exhaust, and then we got box exhaust in titanium tip and chrome. I like the stock ones just in chrome, this so we'll go with those. I like to work. Uh, fenders next, we can go for secondary fender or carbon. So you can sort of paint the whole car, like there's random little secondary bits that you can put all over the car, which is kind of odd in my opinion. Grill options, really not a fan of that massive chrome strip, so I'm hoping we can change that. Yes, we can. We can make it primary, Do you need a drink? secondary, or, or plastic, which is good. Uh, we've got the primary lower plated cover. We've got that in secondary, and we've got a plastic version of that. And then we've got, oh, we've got a chrome version of that as well. Then we can like debadge it if you want to. You can make a plastic GT grill. Um, it has these little like struts up the side. We got a chrome version of that, a primary version Whatever of that, you desire. secondary version Technology of that. And budget then we got the plastic horizontal grill. We got a chrome horizontal grill. We got the plastic street grill, which is like the horizontal grill with the two little struts down it. We got a chrome version of that, and then we're back to the stock. I like the horizontal plastic horizontal. I like the badge in the middle with the lines, it looks quite 
sort of clean, so we'll go with that. Uh, we got hood options next, so it does have these like two vents in it already. Um, we can go for a secondary version of that. We can go for a prime a carbon version of that. Sorry, we got the primary smooth hood if you want to make it like really like OEM. Uh, we got a secondary version and a carbon version of that. Then we've got the primary plastic Making scoop hood. That adds a scoop in the middle with that little sort of plastic bit on there. We've got a secondary version and a carbon version of that. We've got the vented, which adds a little hood pins above the sort of headlights there, which looks quite sporty. We've got a secondary version of that and a carbon. Then we got the primary street hood, which is kind of similar to the stock one, but the vents are a little bit closer together. Um, and of course, it has the hood pins as well. We got a secondary version and a carbon version of that. A lot of hood options. We got the primary raised hood, which also has hood pins in red. We got a secondary version of that and carbon. We got the GT hood. It's kind of similar. It has like the Life is sort of hard like Shelby GT style hood, which has the hood pins in black. We got that in uh, secondary and in carbon as well. Uh, then we got the race hood, which is like a vanity one. It has like the little window to the engine. We got that in secondary and in carbon as well. I quite like this one, the primary raised hood. I think that looks quite cool. No rush so we'll go with that. Uh, we've got light option, uh, horn options and lights like all the other vehicles. We've got some livery options on this. We didn't have this on the, uh, the last vehicle, the Karen Vivian. Uh, Viviante, sorry, didn't have any livery options. Uh, so we've got no livery. We can go for black racing stripes, which go right over the vehicle and are not applied to the roof, which I like. How many cars you got in this uh, We've got uh, red, red edged racing stripes. Kind of looks like the Shelby racing stripes. We got the sport racing stripes, are so just a little bit thicker, I think. What's the difference with those? Oh, it adds a stripe on the side. Okay. We've got the muscle racing stripe. It's just one big thick one down the middle. And then it does have one on the side. we got the street racing stripe. Bubbles or adds something? a little stripe on the side, which kind of looks a bit odd. Uh, we've got white track racing. Okay. We've got solid track racing. So it makes the whole car black and then whatever primary option you can have as the stripe okay we've got vapid graphics so it's like two Whatever different colored stripes there's a stripe on the Technology side we got ron racing so we've got orange stripe that is actually quite cool i do like that i like how it paints the whole front looks a bit odd with the blue i won't lie but i think if you get the right color with this it might look quite good uh, we've got the splatter livery so it's like the blood splatter um, we've got inverted splatter. Uh, we've got dazzle camouflage, which is like urban camouflage kind of thing. If and then we've got viper that, yellow, which is quite funny because it is a Mustang. Um, yeah, we haven't actually gone for any liveries on any of the cars I've customized so far. So I feel like I should on this one. Um, I kind of want to go for the white, but I'm not a fan of that white bit on the side looks a bit odd i wish there was just an option for the like dual white ones but yeah it looks quite good with the blue so i think we'll go with that uh, actually what we might do i might go for black racing stripes just the standard black ones because it doesn't have anything on the side and i already have an idea of a color for this car um so Mirror options next. We got stock mirrors. We can paint them secondary or carbon. You can't actually change the design of them though. We've got some mud guard options. So you can have the plastic ones or primary or secondary. I always thought it was a bit odd having mud flaps on a muscle car because it's not the kind of vehicle that you'd sort of rally. In my opinion, muscle um, mud flaps are for like rally cars and you would not rally a convertible Mustang, would you? Maybe you would, maybe you would. 
Um, there are some new plate options if you've not seen any of my customization videos so far. I'll show you those. We've got green plates now, sprunk ones, and like red arm, ones, which is anything. E. cola, which are quite cool. Um, we'll come back to the respray at the end, but there are primary and secondary options, as you've already seen. So I will, I've got an idea for a colour for this thing. We'll see how it looks uh, when we've gone through all the customization. Uh, there are some spoiler options. So we've got no spoiler at the minute. We can go for a lip spoiler, large lip spoiler in primary. We got that in secondary. We got it in plastic as well. Then we got the primary ducktail, which is a little bit smaller. We got that in secondary and in plastic as well. We got a street spoiler, which is like a kind of Shelby GT looking spoiler. We got that in secondary. Oh, and it does apply delivery to that. That's kind of a shame. I wish it didn't do that. Doesn't look great, I'll be honest. Uh, we've got a plastic version of that, which actually doesn't have the livery applied, which might be How the one I go for. Um, we've got another Shelby GT looking spoiler in primary, secondary, and carbon. Uh, we've got the bolt-on spoiler in primary, secondary, and carbon. We've got another bolt-on one, the mid-level GT wing we've got in secondary and carbon. These all do have the livery on them as do you well. Need a drink? Bubbles Unless you go for the carbon something? one. We've got another bolt-on one, the high GT wing in primary, secondary, and carbon. I quite liked this one. The street spoiler looks kind of cool and um, i think i'm gonna go for that in plastic because i don't like Looks that it applies delivery to it uh suspension we do have suspension options on this thing so it's sitting quite high standard we can lower it right down that gets rid of that arch gap which looks much much better so we'll do that we'll slap on some transmission trunk options We've got stock trunk go ahead and paint that in secondary or in carbon uh, we'll put a turbo on this thing. Vents next, so it's the side vents here. We've got stock vents, which are like plastic, I'm guessing. We can go for no rear vent if you want it to look a little bit cleaner. We can go for primary vents or secondary. I actually like to remove them. That looks much look better, I think. Um, and then wheel options. Um, I think I'm going to go with these. That what you were looking I'm for? I'm going to paint them black. Um, we'll tint the windows a little bit. We're going to put the Body roof right down when we go outside, which I think will make it look a lot better. And the colour option that I had in mind for this thing was actually lime green. Uh, okay, doesn't doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to, I'll be completely honest. I thought it was going to look better than this. Um, I wanted to go for like the the... The, the new Mustang Mach 1 sort of greeny colour you might have seen but it, yeah it doesn't look great in GT Online I'll be honest um, I might actually just get rid of if the livery I'm it, not a huge fan I of do it. Or, or do we go for a white with the blue it's kind of classic nah not a fan um, we're just going to go for a nice pearlescent colour so I'll have a little look for here and decide on a colour Right, so I decided on orange. I think orange looks pretty good. It looks a bit weird at the minute with the roof up. So let's go outside. Let's see what kind of performance this thing has. And we'll get the top down. And once again, it's going night time. So um, let's put the top down. Let's see. We do actually have the nice like convertible animation. Like some of the OG convertible cars. It's nice that you can actually put the roof down as well. So you do have a soft top roof. It looks pretty cool now. Now we've got the top down. It looks much better I have to say. It sounds pretty nice as well. Go away Martin. Not interested. Yeah it pops some nice flames. It does sound very throaty to be honest. I like the sound. It looks great in orange. Orange with the black wheels and the blacked out grill looks really, really good, I think. Um, I'm not a huge fan of convertibles, I have to admit, but this looks pretty banging. I I'm really, really digging this. I think it looks quite nice. 
But let me know what you guys think of the new Dominator GT convertible. Do you like this car? Are you going to be buying it? Do you like my customization of it? Or does it look terrible? Personally, I, I do like this. Now that I've customized it, I wasn't sold on it to begin with, but now kind of feeling it. It looks cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy the video, I'd appreciate dropping a like and subscribing if you're new. But with all that said, hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.